Sides. Agued sends one to the left. I'm not bad with a cross in. Gideon Mensah allows. Zaka Balura. That's Santico took a goalkeeper to pick that one up for the Black Stars. Abalora slips in the process, delivering that ball, but he's lucky the Moroccans are unable to take advantage. Nicolas Opoku. Now Andy Yado. Samoussi shows interest, wants to run down the right, but Yadon loses possession. Amala takes the ball away from him and is racing into the Ghana territory. He's looking for that ball to find his man. El Adadi, but Ghana tidies up well. Here is Samuel Ousu. He's got Famiye in the middle. That's what to find Famiye. And now here is Kudus Mohamed. Gideon Men has made the run. Lovely control from Mensah. Kudus wants it back. Yes, he gets it. That's what to find Jordan. Jordan controls beautifully for the final delivery, letting him down. But impressive thinking from Jordan Ayu. Yeah, I think this is the best passage of play we've seen from the Black Stars so far. Kudus into Jordan Ayu, hot up the play very well. Great strikers play, used his body well to spin past his man, but the efforts let him down in the end. But that will be encouraging signs for the Black Stars. He can be happy with the way they move the ball quickly from defense and turn defense into attack. Impressive stuff. All ago you saw Hakim Ziyech having a bite on some banana. <laughs> the Chelsea man, fresh from the Champions League winning fit with the Blues, is on the bench for the Atlas Lions this evening. Here's Hakimi. Now El Yamik. Naif Aguer, Amrabat, Saez, Yamik, good control down from the Moroccan striker, but Akimi can go past Gideon Mensah. Ashraf Hakimi cleverly wins the corner for Morocco. He knew exactly what he was expecting. Yeah. So the ball got to him. Lomo to close down on him. He didn't have the space to get the whip he would love on the ball. Then had to win the corner off him, bounce the ball off him for a set piece, which we mentioned earlier. The physicality they've got in the side, the stature of the players they have in this side. One of the strong areas this Moroccan side do have. Corner taken by Tarab. Header goes in. And Saiz coming so close. It's a chance. It's a big, big chance for the big man. And he knows it. The yeah. shake of the head tells the story. Left dog mad. All of a sudden got three of his man. Babai Jisu yeah. had a free header. They didn't need to plant that into the turf. Should have gone straight for goal. He knows that that was the mistake he made. It's a big, big chance defensively. In the black style, it could have been better. His man was Babai Juicy, just couldn't cope with the against physicality of Roman size. These are warning signs for the black stars and the defenders in there. Size comes in with so much experience. He would have to play under a new manager for Wanton Wonders next season when the Premier League begins. But Nuno Espirito Santo decided to leave over Wanton Wonders. Balora to Nicolas Opoku. Here's Babai Jisu. Joe Famier. Nicolas nearly lost that one to Ernest Rue. Did well to recover. Babai Drisu recently gained promotion back into the Spanish La Liga with his club side. 
Real Mallorca. Samuel Ousu is up against Agred. He's tricky, the Ousu, and that's what to go past Agred. Now Kudus. And the Yadam back to Kudus. Again, switch up here to the left for Mensa. For me, a force as he tries to pick that ball. Akimi. Found by Famir. Free kick. Famir with that strong challenge on the Inter Milan player. And Akimi stays down. Yeah. This close, but one ship. Go back up on his feet again. Again, it's it's, it's a late one. It can't, it can't be sorry, it can't be painful one. Not sure it's deliberate from Famir. No, but there's no acting there from Hakimi. There was no contact. So, two fouls. For Morocco, seven Ghana. There they go, finding some joy in approaching from that left hand side, and that from El Messi. Not too sure who he headed that ball to, but it was trapped. He was lurking in that box after that header from El Nessie. Amrabat. Size. El Haddadi with a good touch. El Nessie back to El Haddadi's combination from the two Sevilla players. And some good defending from Daniel Amate. Yeah, good defending from Amate there. They see it all the way. They actually was in a very good position to see that. The attack develop, put himself right in front of the attacker to cut it out. And that's the earlier ball we saw. What a ball into the striker. Unless you're not sure you needed to try and find anybody in the box. He's got what it takes to find the other side of the corner from there. Great leap. Sure should be trying to hit the target. Camera about to survive him, but not in time to reach it. Corner taken. Tarapt, the Benfica man. Hakimi's delivery goes wayward. It's a goal kick. Yeah, I think he's usually better with from this wing than that. He's got a real, really good feet. Lovely ability when it's in that range. You can curl it and find the top corner. And that's the set piece again where the biggest chance of the game, Ruben Size. He lost his marker by my view to complain that there was a push by Size knows that it's a big, big chance that he could have tapped home. Again, I'm not sure he needed to get that ball into the turf. So I'm just going straight for goal. Big chance gone from the big man. Here is Kudus Mohammed for the Black Stars. Gideon is licked for the ball. Now there's the last touch from a Moroccan player. It's a Ghana throwing. John Famille beating to it by size. Lomote equally loses it. Here's El Amoud. Amala, the standard edge man finds Amarat. Sofian Amrabat to size. El Yamik. Hashraf Hakimi. Yes, decision goes against the Black Stars and CK Connor. Totally disagrees with the decision of the Senegalese refugee off. No, he disagrees with it. Yeah, we'll say it again. It's, it's, I think it came off the Moroccan. Is the reason CK is, is not happy with the decision from the official. Oh, strong words. So I've been spoken to now. We need, we need to talk about the fact that it's a, it's a friendly back. These two teams really need this. It's a competitive fixture for them. I mean, though, it's, it's under the 
the name friendly. CK needs this to test his players, test the system, test the style. Again, it's a new phase for American football as well. They need this to test how competitive they can be. So it's a friendly game, yes, but there's plenty on it. They've lined up another one on Saturday against Burkina Faso as Ghana equally take on the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire, El Haddadi's corner. Doesn't pose any danger for Ghana. And from here, telling the assistant referee the decision should be going in favor of Ghana. And yes, it has gone in favor of the Black Stars. She had a good start to the game. Putting in a very good shift, tracking back to helping defend. His decision making with his movement has been good as well. Closest Ghana have come, it's, it's, it's been from him. That ran into the box to get on the ball from. A right back and the Yadon. Sides. Amrabat. Some good movement, but Nicolas Opoku usually staying on collecting that boy and Kudus Mohammed. Confident display from Kudus Mohammed. Anytime he's on the ball, he does what not many players in that position would do. He hangs on to the ball, draws in the opponents and create space for others to move into. Yeah, it's something he does so well. Absolutely. The awareness of space is in and around him is, is impressive for, for a footballer of his age. He's almost always aware of where the danger is and where the space for him to spend is. Difficult to pin the ball off him, Kudus. El Nesri can pick that ball, that pass from Salim Amalla. Plays a standard league in the Belgian league. Morocco are in a qualifying group for the World Cup in Qatar next year with Sudan, Guinea Bissau, and Guinea. And Ghana is paired with Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, and South Africa. Yeah, we're looking at two favorites from those groups. With all due respect to the other teams in there, you think that these are the favorites in those groups to, to, to make it through or to top it. Yellow card for Kudus. Seems to have fouled. Roman size, yes, he stepped on his ankle there. I'm thinking that it's, it's because he's late again. Kudus is nothing intentional. I seem to have looked away at the time the contact is coming. Didn't really see where he was planting his feet. Unfortunately, he was right on the ankle of Roman size. Referee sees the contact, calls it for a foul, and he draws the yellow card for Mohamed Kudus. I, I, I should say, I don't think it was anything deliberate. So, time for. Coach Vaid Halilovic to talk to his charges. They've not been overly dominant in this game. But they equally have some quality on their bench. The headline name is Hakim Ziyech. Yeah, Hakim Ziyech starts in this team any day. Sofian Rahim is also on the bench. Are you L yes, they, they've got some good players out there, so. Yeah. Sofian Chakla, one of those warming up. Yaya Jabrani and Hashram Benchaki, all of them on the bench for the Moroccan side. The big man is okay, he's back onto the field. But the Blasters have come into the game a little more because at some point the possession was hugely dominated by Morocco. At the moment, 42% of the possession to the Black Stars. It's, it's only that they've not been able to really create so much. Again, save for Morocco, except that the best chances we've seen in this half 
has come from the, the home side. Gideon Mensah. Size to Maya for good. Elamudo Kabi. Size El Yamit. Welcomes in your typical. Patient build up at this time. Lomoto is stopping for Ghana. Here is Jordan Ayu. Jordan has lost possession. Tarapt. Lovely pass to El Nesri, but again, great awareness from Daniel Amate. So I'll tweet El Nesri and get that ball out of danger. Now he finally gets it out. There is Jordan. Are you stopped by Hakimi with the free kick for Ghana? Jordan is not happy about the challenge. He has a word for Hakimi. He yeah, didn't be happy from the facial expression. He showed that Hakimi is a tackle from behind. Not, not, pretty malicious in it, but again, when it's always from behind, it's dangerous. Players never really like those tackles. Made it quite clear to Hakimi, I'm sure. I'm sure the former Real Madrid man will understand because he was just caught a while ago by Famille unintentionally and Famille apologized to him. Amrabat. Hakimi. Well, because, because of the feedbacks that Morocco have deployed, Black Stars tactically are also making sure we're not leaving the spaces for them to run into because they've got new fireworks in those spaces. Here's Tarant to Hakimi. Can he send a cross? Gideon Mensah. That's what to stop that cross from going in. It's a corner for the Atlas Lions of Morocco. Yeah, these two have a real contest at hand. Mensah and then Hakimi. Mensah doing well to stop Hakimi from putting in the balls as he loves to. The location is blocked, but it's gone out for a corner. Last time out, the corner came in, it was dangerous, so I'm sure the defenders will be watching closely and marking tightly. Watching closely, marking tightly. So, some confusion in that box. Referee Bjorn will stamp his authority by having these men. Yeah, that's it. What's happening here? Everybody, like I said, will be, be eager to keep a man. I think they're going for the man marking and nothing zonal in there. I'm a big fan of the man marking, taking the responsibility. Go with your man. Corner taken. And the connection that came in from Nayef Aguer, the starter and a defender, goes out for a goal kick to the Black Stars of Ghana. Yeah, this time around, new goal. Abu went quite low, took a, a bounce right before hitting the man. Difficult sometimes to catch it on the volley, especially when it's the big center back who's come forward for that one. They are mixing the corner kicks here. They're not sending all of them long. They went short to Ashraf Akini where he killed that one woefully high. The one that came into the skipper who missed from close range and this one as well, just looking like a cutback. So they are mixing it. Americans. And defensively, here are the first. 37 minutes, the Black Stars have been, have been very strong. Some players winning their individual battles. Mensa and Andy Yadon making sure the width is, is, is narrow and compact and tight to deny the fullbacks of the Americans from running into But they need to develop more on the attacking side. There's a warning for Salim Amalla. And he just went straight into push Andy Yadom. He's claiming innocence, the standard Liege player. 
as you would expect. The referee had seen it already, it's a foul. Andy with that ball that Jordan Ayu did well to advance for it. The Champions League winner Hakim Ziyech is looking on. I'm sure he's going to get some minutes in this game, Ziyech. Andy Yadom. He stopped. Ball now falls to El Amoud El Kabi. Who, who made it? For Agre to take the throwing. It's the Ghanaian bench. Sais have lost to Jordan Ayu to Kudus Mohamed. Oh, is doing the run, but Kudus hangs on it. This time he goes down, referee says, no foul. And Nicolas Opoku falls in the process. There seems to be a problem with the pitch. A very slippery surface because, you know, this is about a fourth time a player is slipping. Yeah. Especially in the half of the Black Stars. Yeah, and here is Ashraf Hakimi. Stopped by Nicolas Opoku. But Opoku is slipping again. Abalora trying to find Jordan Ayu, but the Moroccans will take back possession. Here is Baba Idrisi for Ghana. Now Andy Yadam. Kudus Mohammed. It's 14 minutes already and no goals. Ghana away to Morocco in an international friendly to prepare. For the September World Cup qualifiers, there is Joel Famier. Sends a cross in. Owusu was waiting for him, but some good defending from El Amoud El Kabi. Lomote to Owusu, who's up against Agued. Looking for Jordan Ayu, but Jordan is a certainly size first to react. Well, Nesri in that battle for the ball with Nicolas Opoku. I kind of felt the pick was impeded, but referee not interested in any call. Here is Gideon Mensah. Emmanuel Lomote. Daniel Amate. Mensah. More rolled over the line, and Famille was eagerly awaiting to make that run. Yeah, but across the line before he got me back into play. Again, there's the cross that is coming in. What a great defending that is because he had to throw himself at it. Someone who was lurking, riding behind him, and he had to be aware of the danger in, in behind. Putting a very, very good defensive header. Tarabt put that one through for El Nesri, but Nicolas Opoku. Good defending from Nicolas Opoku, but he's given away possession. Here is El Adadi. Nicolas stays down. And if you need some medical attention from the Black Stars medical team. It must be said that the, the center back partnership between these two has looked very solid today. They've barely given anything away. And Nicolas Opoku, I'm not sure there was contact from him. And then you see it quite closely from here. I can't see what contact there was. But they, they look very good together, Amate and Opoku. It's, it's, been, it's been a game where it's, it's, both teams seem to be, you know, playing the way that is seasoned, the strengths of each side from coming out.
to make it difficult for either side to really dominate it and create chances and cause problems for defenders. Awusu. Goal kick. Well, see perhaps things that should have been a corner kick, and I agree with him. From what we've seen, seems to have come off the defender last. It's a guy who got the final touch. Should have been a corner to the Black Stars. Something I'm sure this coach is equally complaining about. Absolutely. Should have been a corner kick, I think so. But Halilovic will not care about that. Daniel Amate looking for Jordan Ayu with that pass, but Kudus Mohamed will step it up for Ghana. He's bits into the ball by Tarapt. Now here's Sakimi to his goalkeeper Yasin Bunu. Sais will carry it out of danger. Not only as far as Nicolas Opoku. Opoku plays for Amiens in the French League 2 on loan from Udinese. Baba Idrissi to Daniel Amate. Ousu. One minute of additional time. Ghana and Morocco. If it doesn't change before the next 60 seconds, they'll be heading into the dressing room without scoring. Again, Jordan, are you not happy with the contact from Roman size? Of course, it's a foul. As a, as a, as a defender, when you, once you go that tight and you're not getting the ball, normally you don't want your man to get past you because you've committed yourself and his big brother knows that giving this little brother the chance is going to score. Here is Kudus Mohammed for the Black Stars. Kudus losing possession. And El Amoud. Also, just kind of the ball again, but referee Geoff Russell's against the Black Stars of Ghana. But no, that's it. The one minute of additional time is over. First 45 minutes ending goalers at the Prince Mule Abdella Sports Complex in Rabat, Morocco. International friendly between the Black Stars of Ghana and their Moroccan counterparts, the Atlas Lions, ending goalers at half time. As you see here, tell the story. It's been, it's been a close one. These two sides can't find the answers, can't find the antidote, can't find how to break each other down. Very, very competitive. Defenders winning their individual battles. It's the attackers who have struggled to make the most of it. Best chance of the game fell to Algeria from Roman size. In the end, it's goalless. Morocco have the better of possession, 56, and uh, Ghana has. One yellow card to Kudus Mohamed. One corner for Ghana, four for Morocco. Half time score in Rabat. Morocco nil, Ghana nil. Of Morocco and the Black Stars of Ghana. So Ghana will make the first substitution. Nicolas Opoku is making way for Alexander Jiku. Who also plays his trade in France like Nicolas Opoku does, but he plays for a higher club than what Nicolas plays for. He's in Ligue 1. Nicolas is in Ligue 2. He plays for Strasbourg. Second half underway, your expectations? Yep. I, I think it's going to be more of the same. Um, the Moroccans will try to attack using the wide men that they've got, who have got real pace and real quality. Ashraf Hakimi in the 
and Abud. But again, we've seen the Black Stars also halting them in that space. But the difference now is that if, if the Blasters can't have their fullbacks also bumping forward, then they lack something or some bites also in attacking. Something really has to change. I expect to see a lot more of Kudus in behind Jordan than sticking throughout in midfield. We want to see more chances, surely. People want to see goals. That's why they watch football. Hand beats on the spot. El Adadi. Kudus Mohamed. He had him set up by Jisu. It's a goal kick. Yeah, that's a lot better from the Black Stars. The number of bodies were throwing forward, pouring forward in, in the attack by Jisu with the shots, but always drifting wide. But it's better. It's, it's about the first time we've seen Andy Yado moving into that space on the far side, teeing up by Jisu for the strike, but nowhere near troubling Bono. Rabah hopefully will be playing in the La Liga next season. He made 24 appearances for his side the last 10. He's very present in the scheme of things for Mallorca. from Abalora. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work for him, but he never, he never stops doing these things, Abalora. I mean, he's a great he's a great footballer, I should say. He, the ball at his feet is good. I think that sometimes he overrates how good he, his left foot is. If the boy is on his right side, forget it. It's a very good one. But when the boy is on his left side, he, he actually thinks it's better than he really is. Very calm and collected sometimes when he's on the ball. Can play the ball out from the back like we saw there. But that's cool. Getting him back at Fawn from here. That is it, as cool as you like from your goalkeeper. Abdullah. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it's beautiful. If it doesn't work, it's horrible. Yes, and um, it worked horribly against them in one of those qualifiers. Yes, I told me. So, Tom and Principe, but he didn't take any confidence away from him. He still does it, Abdullah. He's a modern day goalkeeper, Abdullah. One of those in recent times, every manager wants the goalkeeper who can play parts of the game, pin passes forward, they hold on to the ball and dictate the play and get the ball or get to start the attack from the back. Kudus Mohamed, Jordan Ayu goes down from the challenge of Amrabat, El Haddadi, now Hashraf Hakimi, Amate for Ghana, Ousu, Iada. Bambay Drisu is fouled, but the waves play on. Baba stays down, so Hakimi just gets the ball out for Baba. by Jisu, a product of the Mallorca on the 19th side. He's been farmed out to Leganis, whom he played for the 19th side as well. On his return to the senior team, he's been good. And he's down for Ghana, but Ghana equally have, you know, other options 
in that position on the bench for CK Connor. Yeah, absolutely. There's Rashid Notte of Mediama. There's Moro Salifu, Glassina Wako. All of them can, you know, excel in that role. And it's good to see Awako in the match day squad yeah. because he picked up a slight injury at training yesterday. He was a doubt for this game, but it's good to see the star man of the Ghana Premier League for Great Olympics in the team. He's been, he's been an incredible player for, for Great Olympics. Astonishing, really. Real leader in the side, goes about his duty really well, gets very important goals. It, he never really goes missing, always showing up for games. It's exciting to see him. The, the rumors about his injury concerns seem to have been shaking off now. He's, he's been sent out to warm up. Good news and good signs for all Olympic fans. Size. Alexander Jiku for Ghana now. Gideon Mensah. He sought to go past his marker, Kimi, on that occasion. But the final ball, meant for Famir, is taken care of by Jawada Yamik. But goalkeepers have not really been tested. Yeah. The outfield players are cancelling each other out. We are expecting Morocco to build up you know, quite slowly. Is that kind of the game that you feel it's going to take a moment of brilliance to, to break the deadlock? It's just one, one lapse of concentration, maybe as well. One moment of magic. Yeah. Somebody pops up and does something extraordinary because these teams are really playing a compact. And the, the battle between the captains continues between Sizer and Jordan. Jordan are you always tied to him. He knows the threat he poses, Jordan. From England to Rabat. Yeah. These two Premier League stars. Know each other so well. Agwe. Now, Amrabat. El Amoud. Alexander Jiku switches play looking for Yadom. Great awareness to pick out Owusu who is getting to the ball. Amrabat to his captain, size. Now Elia Meek, the real ball of the lead defender to his captain, size. Ashraf Hakimi. Tarapt back to Hakimi. He sends a left footed cross in, but is dealt with by Yadom. Kudus wins the ball for Ousu to take over possession. Jordan wants it. He's been given the pass. Here is the Black Stars number nine, Jordan Ayu. Up against size. Jordan with a brilliant shot in. A good goalkeeping from Yanis Bunu. Yeah, that was great counter-attacking football from the front for the three men up front for Ghana. It was a Wusu who played the ball through for Jordan. I thought the ball was a little out wide, but Jordan did well to get the ball back in the box. Little step overs to get around the captain and create some space for himself. Looking for the roof of the net, but Bodhi wouldn't be beaten from that range. He would have been disappointed if the ball went into the back of the net. But it's a corner kick for the Black Stars. Corner kick. He couldn't keep it in after making that save so four corner kicks for morocco two for ghana 55 minutes it's 10 minutes after the break kudus delivers and there's a header on it by salim amalla you know the pins the blasters have got in attack 
from here, Jordan, Samuel, Wusu, and Kudus. I think maybe it's, it's why we are a little deeper sometimes, just to invite the Moroccans onto them and best out with a break. You saw on that occasion when Samuel Wusu was carrying the ball. Turned out to be 3v3 at some point. That could be where the Black Star could hit the Moroccans. You don't always have to match them in everything. Sometimes you have to draw them to yourself and use the pace you've got for the counter-attacking Kudus was looking for Wusu, but it's intercepted by the Moroccan Centre back Nayef Agird. Now here's Amrabat to Tarap to get the return. Sykes. Two ball for El Adadi. Now El Amoud for the Atlas Lions. Cuts it back for El Adadi. Alexander Jikudaswo to get the ball from the feet of El Adadi. Size to El Adadi. Now El Amoud from Morocco. They are stepping up their game. Long ball meant for Ashraf Hakim, but Gideon Mensah get well to go in for that one. But it's a decision against. The Black Stars, Baba Idris's challenge on Adey Tarap, the Benfica midfielder. Adjust to be a foul. Yeah, it's a foul. The ball was there for the taking. Tarap got to the ball first. Baba Idris caught his man. And right on the edge of the box, in that corner of the box, he's it's in the territory where he got quality to touch the goalkeeper. That's like Abelera from. Munir El Adadi. He plays for Sevilla to take the free kick. He's already represented Spain at youth level before deciding to make his senior team football permanent with Morocco. He takes the free kick straight to Abalora. African Football Academy goalkeeper now with Ghanaian Giants at Sante Kotoko. Baba Idrisu. Andy Yadam. Kudus Mohamed. Ousu wants it. Yes, he gets it. Ousu has got a great to beat on his weaker right foot and Ousu can get it. In for the front men who are advancing looking for that ball to just drop in that 16 yard box for them. Yeah, he seems to have around the ball in the end. Again, it was a time where he checked on to his left, had a little look up into the box. There was nobody making the run into the box, so had to go outside his man again. But you need to send him the cross on his uh, favorite side. The left foot was gone. In the end, he was around the ball for what then turned out to be the goal kick. Size to a guard. The head coach of the Black Star, C. Kakon, is excited to have these friendly matches because the World Cup qualifiers got postponed. In the absence of these friendly games, Ghana would have struggled to, you know, get some activities before the September. First, when the qualifiers begin. The referee there sounding a warning to Kudus. He's on a yellow, right? He's on a yellow careful. card, yeah. 
from the captain. Jordan has to have a word with him. Jordan Ayu. This time, referee Dioff whistles in favor of the Ghanaian captain. And El Nesri is equally furious. He's claiming innocence. He didn't do anything to Jordan Ayu. Yes, it's one of those balls that can go either way. Seems to have had a bit of the ball, but it's, it's, it's the force with the challenge that maybe the referee calls for a foul. Good footwork from Joe Famille. In the end, as the Moroccan goal kick, Jordan Ayu was looking for Famille to play that ball too early enough, but Famille, not too sure what he intended to do, but yeah, he's he had a decent game. Yeah, he, he did want well to get away from his man for a moment. So the manager must be now thinking if it's, it's time for him to to withdraw Mohamed Kibis. I mean, not because he's not a good player, not because he's not playing well. He's actually one of the best players in the side, but he's got options on the bench as well. Yeah. And on a yellow card and. But the warnings coming from the referee, I would have a little think about it. I think it's, it's, it's been a very strong midfield performance by the Blacksters as well as the back four as well. We've not seen so much as they put together as an attacking force. But defensively and midfield wide, the, the two blocks of four the form has made it very difficult for the Moroccans to find any space or whatsoever where they can play the balls through those channels. That's why the chances have been very few in, the, in this game. Both teams really setting up defensively very well and very solid. Gideon Mensah, now to Alexander Jiku. One of three France-based players in this Black Stars team, Lomote and Opoku are the other ones. And Opoku has since left and his place taken by Jiku now sighs. Salim Amalla, Amrabat, Agred, Hashra Fakimi, now Ghana will make inroads into the Morocco territory. Jordan finds Kudus Mohamed is looking for the run of Jordan but decides to go to Gideon Mensah who puts one in and the Yadom up against El Nesri and Andy Yadom finally goes down flag goes up from the assistant referee and certainly should be a free kick advantage the Black Stars it yeah, surely is the push coming in from the back of Andy. So, Amen Barok, Hakim Ziyech, all of them will be coming into the game for the Atlas Lions of Morocco. They want to change things. It's 65 minutes. They are yet to score. And 
their best player is yet to come in. And we have a feeling CK will be also thinking whether his captain, his best player at the BIU. Yeah. Free kick taken. Not dealt with properly initially, but referee whistles and Alexander Jiku totally disagrees with the decision. Yeah, man. Ball seems to have struck the arm of our next week. Yeah. Not, not Anything about it, you could not sure why the foul is given against him. You can understand the thing. Fights. Now, Tarat goes down, and Morocco have the decision go in their favor. So, the famous Hakim Ziyech of Chelsea is coming in. to take the place of Munir El Haddadi. Time up for the Morocco number 10. Ayman Bakok also coming, but Ziyech, he brings something different to the side. He takes the place of Selim Amalla. And Ayman Bakok takes the place of Amalla. He plays for Antrain Frankfurt in the German Bundesliga. Bakok was born in Germany on the 21st of May 1998. And Ziyech will be in action immediately. He came and sends it across and Abalora fails to grab it. And Morocco are up by 1-0. Jawad El Yamik instant impact Hakim Ziyech but that free kick was well delivered Ghana, Ghana's defense failed to deal with it appropriately and they took advantage to this man here Jawad El Yamik who plays for Real Baladolid to score the opener yeah Hakim Ziyech without quickly into the ball so he's expecting Razak Abalera having seen the ball all the way having come out to claim it to have done a lot better with it completely misses it the ball bouncing in the 18-yard area. Nobody really could deal with it from the defenders. And it's the big center back who gets the most important touch for the opener. But this is disappointing. If From the goalkeeping point of view, Razak Abelera should be getting to this. Having seen it all the way, should be parrying this. Should be getting it out of danger. He fails to do so and they take advantage. 1 0 Morocco. Morocco. Up by 1 0 against the Black Stars of Ghana. I'm not sure if Reza Kabler had, to, had taken his eye off the ball a little bit there because his positioning was good. His starting position was good as well. And he made the move for the ball. He should have, should have collected that. To be honest, there was a slight dip in the ball that. ZX sent in there, but that is no excuse for a goalkeeper who has seen it all the way. It's a, it's a really poor goal to concede, it really is. Jordan Ayu, sandwiched in between three Atlas Lions players, goes down, gets a free kick for Ghana. And now maybe not the Americans have scored that Blackstar will have to come out more. Maybe leaving spaces as well for the likes of ZH and Buckle to attack. Seventy minutes. Morocco won Ghana nil. Jordan Ayu to Kudus Mohamed. 
There were a lot of bodies in that box. Why he decided to go short? Well, now he has to back Jordan Ayu from Kudus's path. Here is Jordan. Back to Kudus. Kudus goes for glory. That's a scream of a shot from Kudus and some good goalkeeping from Yasin Bunu. That was trembling. Yes, that was explosive from Kudus. Corner taken. Well defended. He has the ball from Kudus again. Lovely first time to set himself up and get that ball so sweetly. But that is a brilliant save from Bonnie because the ball moved through bodies there, but he saw it too. This time, goalkeeper will punch it away now. Samuel Owusu. One of those players, I get the feeling the coach will sub off if he wants to make any substitutions. Obviously. I think it's, it's, it's got to be some of the attacking players, I feel. They need to chain the legs up front just to test that back three of, of Morocco. Could be Famiya, could be Ousu, could be Jordan Ayu. Again, Kudus is on the card. Could be the one else as well to go off. Amate to Andy Adam. Baba Idrisu. Emmanuel Lomote, Kudus Mohamed. Create, want to create space for himself. Now he goes down. And there's a yellow card for the culprit. Size doesn't think it should be a foul, but there's a yellow card yeah. for Ayman Bakok, who just came off the bench. A clear shove in the back of Mohamed Kudus. He seems to have been tearing away from the midfield that's there, creating space for himself for maybe another shot with his left foot. The push came in from the back. It's a free kick in a very good area. Bakok played for the youth team of Germany before he made his debut for Morocco against Senegal on the October 9th, 2020. And now he's an integral part of this side. Had an excellent season with Antoine Frankfurt in yeah. the Bundesliga. Really strong season he had. Twenty-six appearances for Frankfurt with two goals, but it's time for Jordan Ayu to bring Ghana back on level pegging. Kudus is there, Jordan is there. Who delivers for the Black Stars? Jordan is showing interest. So it's Kudus. Jordan, are you? The block does this work well. Gideon Mensah. Is Jordan up against El Yamik? Jordan won't give up and El Yamik. Yeah, good press in there. Force them to. Kick the ball to touch is a throwing deep deep in, in in the half of the Moroccans. He goes for the safety first precaution because Jordan was relentless on that occasion. Now here is Gideon Mensah to Jordan Ayu. Up against Amrabat. Jordan does want to hang on to the ball. But he's looking for support, he's not getting it. Bakok is on a yellow. He needs to be careful. He just came off the bench, but he's been overly aggressive. He, that's his game, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kudus Mohamed straight to Yassin Bonu.
There are 15 minutes to go. I'm sure that the manager of the Black Stars, Charles O'Connor, should be thinking about changing something in the side. Already made a change, but that was at the start of the second half. Yeah. Jiku coming on for a poke, but I think attacking wise, they need, they need another spark. They need, they need something, or they need to be, they need to bring a different trouble, kind of trouble to the Moroccans. Different test. There's another substitution this time. And they interrupt as make way for Elias Chair. Interrupt. Had a decent game today. Just giving the pitch yeah. really good shots. Very attacking player at the start of his career. Had his own troubles playing with Spurs, QPR, now Benfica. And here is Elias Chair, born in Belgium, but playing for Morocco. Sends a cross in Jiku, heads it out. Baba Idris is fouled, is a free kick for Ghana, right in that box. By who again? Bakok. <laughs> Elias, who just came in. Case for QPR, Queen's Park Rangers in England in the championship. So he's familiar to Andy Yadom. And that's where he's operating from, where Andy is also defending from. Yeah. As I would have heard that name before, that you name. As the, the captain of the Black Stars on the bench. Yeah, had a very, very good season in the last couple of seasons with his club Swansea. And he's been the subject of transfer talk the last few days. Celtic have come into the conversation because his contract has run out at Swansea City. He's a free agent now. He's yet to decide on his next move, but certainly you find Andrea you at a big club. Yeah, I think so. Not, you know, those glamorous clubs, but it will be a step ahead. Some of the clubs are going to chase him. Some in France as well, but we'll see. Hakim Ziyech. He's lost it to Baba Idrisi. Now Joe Famier, too many touches on that ball. And then Jiku to the rescue of Ghana. Kudus Mohamed goes past Amrabat. Here is Kudus. Samuel Ousu to his right, but Kudus decided to go for glory. He had Jordan, he had Ousu. He be selfish, Kudus, on that occasion. Yeah, in the body language of the captain, Jordan says it all. He had, he had one opportunity to have played Jordan three, still hang on to the ball then. Did well to again stay on the ball, had the opportunity to play some Ousu through. Did not choose that option, went for the strike, which was feeble because he had to do it in a hurry. Rabat, Tariq Fusu. It's in that Brentford team that gained promotion. He should be, a, be available for that next Saturday game against the Elephants of Cote d'Ivoire and Cape Coast, together with Thomas Partey, Wakasa Mubarak. What a save that was stretching at full stretch to get that hand to it. Very, very good save from a very good shot. Joe Famille goes off for Andre Ayu, who collects the captain's armband from his younger brother. 11 minutes to go. What impact is he going to have on this Ghana team? I think his younger brother hands it over. He knows the big boss is on now. Yeah. His leadership qualities have been exceptional since he took up this captain's armband. Strong character, Andrea Yu. Hakim Ziyech. El Amoud. Kudus. Lovely turn, beautiful control. He's fouled and he gives the decision in favor of Ghana. Bakok again. 
back up again, part of the trauma. And it's, it, it, Mohamed Kudis is very difficult to get the ball off him when it's in his stride. He, at the moment, he seems to be the one wanting to take. from the Moroccan centre-back, Agued. So stop Andre from moving into that box to cause problems for the Atlas Lions. I think, I think you've not seen even enough of Ziyech because since the Black Stars went down, They've been trying to cause the problem. They've been trying to throw more bodies forward. Yet there's the risk of the counter attack for the pace they've got. The Moroccans, but they're now trying to force the issues here. The Black Stars trying to find the openings. Manager making attacking changes here to to get his team on the front foot. On the front foot. Also, it's impeded by Amrabat. Substitution for Morocco. Time out for Sofian Amrabat, the Fiorentina midfielder. She's had a commanding presence in that midfield. His place is taken by Yaya Jabrain, who plays for Raja Casablanca. And Yadom, he's been very, very solid for Ghana right back. He's always been preferred as Ghana's kind best right back, Andy Yadom. Jordan Ayu. Now Baba Idrisu. Now Jordan. Sprinting forward with confidence, but the final pass not good enough from Jordan. Yeah, Jordan now seems to have dropped deeper after his brother came on, leaving the space to deal with the defenders. He wants to now come and pick the ball and drive forward. That Andy had done again. That's what to keep that ball in play. And Andy. Lucky by this was there. Pick up the ball for the black stars from the advancing Moroccan Elias chair. Brescia and scored four goals, assisted six times. Imano JC. Yeah, he had a very good season. Very important player to them, Imano JC. Creating chances, winning fouls. It's a strong game. He's got pace about him as well. So, El Amlud makes way for El Kabi. Baba Idrisu to 
He had them again as gifted possession. Here is Hakim Ziyech. That's what to hang on to Hakim Ziyech. Took a deflection off Andy Adam, who waits for his goalkeeper, Abalora, to collect it safely. An impressive run from the Moroccans into the Ghana territory. Yeah. 85 minutes in Rabat. Morocco won Ghana nil. Yeah, so that's the case here. Yeah. Hakim Ziyech did have, have an opportunity to play his men through. I used them as a decoy to get the ball into his strong side. Fortunately, didn't quite cut the ball like we would have loved to catch it. Seems to have struck it awkwardly. And the Adam did well to get, get his way in the path of the strike and get a blocking. Lomote. Now Emmanuel Jesse to Kudus. Back to Jesse. His captain was waiting and calling, but the Moroccans will take over. Here is Hakim Ziyech. That pass for El Kabi. But some good position and awareness from Alexander Jipu. He expects to see a lot of that from El Kabi. Anytime this, his players have got the ball, he'll be looking to run it behind the defender. He's a very strong runner. Always looking to find a space as a centre forward. Jordan now to Gideon Mensa, whose cross is deflected off Hashraf Hakimi for a corner kick to the Black Stars. Jordan will take up that responsibility. Referee Dioff have to calm down tempers, calm down the nerves of these players. Hey, it's getting heated in that 18 yard box of the Atlas Lions. It's Andre Jiku, Baba JC. Connor is taken by Jordan straight to the same Bono. They're too close to the goalkeeper there. You want to send that set piece. You want to put it in an area where the goalkeeper can't come and claim it. Jordan's set piece was too close to the goalkeeper. That, that is the goal again, the whip from Ziek. Almost dipping at the time Abalura is arriving, but with all the time and space he had and saw the ball, he should be doing a lot better with that. Not sure if he took his eye of the ball again, but completely flubbed it. And this big man here got the goal for the Moroccans. The, the only goal that separates this side. Otherwise, it's been very keenly and closely contested. And when the opportunity came, or when the test came for Bono, he passed it with uh, flying colors, having flown to his side to parry the ball for Mohamed Kudus. So Salim Am Amalla, Munir El Haddadi all had their turn. They gave a good account of themselves. Jawad El Yamid, the goal scorer. Another one who had a very good game. Sofiane Amrabat. Emmanuel Lomote is limping off. Opoko and Famiye. Disappointing. That, you know, after that good performance from these two, yeah. Ghana seemed to be on the losing end. I think Opoko played well, as yes, well as did. Famiye. Yes, they did. And then they'll look back on the game and pick the positives from the... Uh, their performance. I'm sure the manager as well would have seen lots of positives in the way they played today. I mean, it's, it's been the fine margins today. We, we did say that if a goal was going to come, it was going to be lots of concentration or something really special. Another case was that concentration that wasn't there for Razak at the time was just about to fist the ball. That's been the difference so far. Jesse is fouled. by Yaya Jabrani and he gets a yellow card for his troubles. Cynical challenge on Emmanuel Jesse. Yeah, he didn't get the ball nowhere near it. Ninety minutes up and Mediamas, Mercurial midfielder Rashid Nate replaces 
Emmanuel. Amik nearly connected it back into his own net. What yeah. a story that would have been scoring against the opponent and scoring for the opponent. The ball came off from my side, but that was a really good ball from Jordan Ayu. Nobody gambling onto that side, nobody gambling to the near side, nobody running in between the two defenders there. Clarence came in but came off the captain and not troubling the goalkeeper because it wasn't going either side of the pole, it was going straight to him. But that was real quality from Jordan from the cross. Lucky. Roman size and then the goal scorer, El Yamik. That is galloping towards that ball as El Nesri makes an approach for it. But it's the Leicester man who gets the advantage and cleverly finds. from there and Amate delivers looking for Kudus and it's Jordan Ayu two minutes into stoppage time Gideon Mensah finds Andre Ayu to his brother Jordan now Gideon to Andre Ayu Jordan he's lost possession There's a man down, that's Yaya Jabarani. Yeah. Fouled by Rashid Nutte. Again, that's the ball across the face of goal. Again, nobody making the move to the near side because nobody was really committed to it. And the clearance was an awkward one. Came awkward the captain one from, <laughs> you know, the goal scorer. Yeah. There you the see captain. it. He knows it's a lucky one. Yeah, 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 he could yeah, have yeah. gone anywhere. Yeah. What a story that would have been. On the stroke of full time and there's an own goal to equalize the goal you scored <laughs> there's a yellow card flashed out by referee Dioff to Elias chair he's the man that got the red card the yellow card yellow card yes the yellow <laughs> card for the man in red Jabarani. El Kabi to Jabrani again. It's over. The Atlas Lions of Morocco have rolled the loudest. The Black Stars failed to shine in Rabat and Morocco have beaten Ghana by 1-0. International friendly to prepare for the World Cup qualifiers later on in September. There's another chance for Ghana to make amends this weekend when they play against the Ivory Coast in Cape Coast. And from Robert is full time and it's Morocco 1-0.